All right, guys, we got a 2017 Toyota Camry. Uh, the strut here is leaking right here, so we're gonna replace it. So we need to remove the sway bar linkage. Uh, we need to remove this brake line, which is held by 12 here, millimeter bolt, and then the ABS line held in by 10 millimeter bolt. And then we got two bolts in the nuts here for the strut. And after that, we'll go inside the vehicle. So to start off, the tools we're gonna need is a 14 millimeter, which we're gonna use right here. Uh, we're gonna need an Allen key to put right here. So that's the Allen key. This is uh, this is a five millimeter. We got a 10 millimeter socket, a 12 millimeter socket. We got a wire brush. We got a long ratchet and electric drill. So far, that's what we're gonna use. And then we'll you'll see all the tools. Okay, so we're gonna use this wire brush to clean this guy up right here because over time this thing will seize up, especially with the. Uh, dirt the dirt is gonna once you try to loosen it up it's gonna get stuck between the threads of the nut and the bolt and it's gonna lock up then it's not gonna go in or out you have a better chance by cleaning this guy and spray some doubly 40 on this guy just like that and we'll attempt we'll give it a moment and then we'll attempt to remove this guy meanwhile what we're gonna do is Meanwhile, we'll remove this 10 millimeter here. This guy comes off. And then we'll switch up our socket to 12 millimeter. And we'll remove, we'll remove the second bolt here. There you go, perfect. So our ABS line is loose and the brake line is loose and we don't want to take these off yet. Both of these till we have this off. Okay, now we're going to try to take this guy off. So what we're going to do here is let's put our 14 millimeter on and we're going to put this Allen key right here just like that. And we might have to tap this with something smaller than a hammer. Anything will do. I'm gonna do I'm gonna tap this a little bit harder so it's nice and firm what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna try to go down here I'm gonna put our ratchet on this so we need to turn this counterclockwise most of the time the alum will get stripped but if you're lucky this baby will come off Okay, there you go. Pretty easy once you prep it properly. If you don't put some lube on it, you don't clean it, this is not gonna happen. Okay, there you go. So, you're gonna tap this off. There you go. Perfect. And you see this. Uh, my Allen's twisted. This is not from this job. This probably was from one of the old jobs. If you don't clean this thing, the whole tool's gonna twist and bend. That guy's never gonna come out. So do it properly. Take your time. It only took me probably two extra minutes to clean and lubricate and let it sit there for two minutes. Okay, now we're gonna take off the two bolts on the strut here. So we're gonna have to take off these 19, uh, 22 millimeter socket here. 22 millimeter wrench here. There you go, it's one. And I'm gonna do the same thing for the bottom one, which camera can't see, but you guys could get a small glimpse of it. Same thing. Put my wrench on it. There you go. And we're gonna take off the bolts okay the bottom bolt might hit this caliper if it does we're gonna remove the caliper as well but it didn't so you shouldn't have to do it either there you go that's how simple this is so everything is loose if 
probably gonna need help from a second person to do the rest of the job. You can probably even do it yourself, but make sure these lines doesn't damage anything. So this strut is out of there. So I'm gonna try to maneuver it up this way. But now we're gonna go inside the car. Now we're inside the vehicle, what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove this bottom at bottom uh, layer of the seat. So what you wanna do is you wanna grab it right here and you wanna yank it up. And it's the same thing right there. So what you wanna do is you wanna grab right here and you wanna yank it up. And that's it. Uh, after that, you just pull this a bit forward. And now we're gonna look at some bolts right here. Okay, now if you look at right here, down in here, you got a bolt, see that? Right there, that's a 12 millimeter and a 12 millimeter. So we're gonna remove them both. And then we should be able to push this back up, but let's open the trunk next. So we're gonna bring this half of the seat down from the trunk. What you wanna do is, you wanna pull on this. You Probably somebody's gonna have to help you. Or, but usually these, uh, these hold themselves. So this is already held in. So this seat should come out. Not come out, just come down just like that. But right now you can leave it here or there for now. Let's take off the two bolts here. Okay, so what we're gonna do is, I got me a 12 millimeter with a smaller extension, and which I did not show you in the beginning, but at the end of the video, I will show all the tools. So this number 12 comes over here. And then we got the second one right here. It's behind the seat here. And that's it. There you go. Very important you put those back. Be careful with this. You see this ABS line going into this? So you do not want to yank and break anything here. So let's do this. Uh, I like to take off this seat belt right here. And this belt will come out of right here. Come on. Okay, so to take this off, you just want to slip it right through that little gap. And this comes off. And after that, you just push this up. And you pull it forward a bit. You see this little guy? This little anchor right here. It sits in here, okay? So you need to pull it up. And it should be a piece of cake. That airbag, okay? Okay, bro. Anything yellow line is an airbag. You don't want to pull yank. If you do that, you're going to cause the light to come on and maybe explode this airbag. We don't want that, okay? So we're pretty much right here. We got 12 millimeter, 12 millimeter, 12. Three bolts right there. And it's very important to put this cover on to, or you will hear some type of noise if you don't. Okay, if you wanna take it off, you can take it off, but you don't even have to touch it, but this one's already loose from impact. But we're gonna take these three bolts off. So, got another ratchet, one fourth drive ratchet with a 12 millimeter short socket. Hopefully this fits. So I do not wanna touch this bolt. The reason is because that bolt is gonna hold everything in place for me. So what I wanna do is I wanna take off. So pretty much take off these three nuts here and the whole shirt should just come down that's why i don't want to touch this one because i want to remove the other two first before we even touch this one here and once these two are loose since that third one is going to be held in place we don't have to worry about all right so had somebody come in that's why the reason why I don't want to take off that third one is because it's going to hold the, uh, the whole strut in place for me. And that's the easiest one, okay? And when you want to put this thing back together, you want to put the easiest one in first. So you have easy time doing the other two. So this guy comes off. I like to reuse the old bolts here because compared to the new ones, if the, the new ones come with the strut, I do not like that stuff, okay? So it's going to be hard to see, but there you go. So you're not gonna see me take off the third one, but I'm gonna have my friend help me here with the third one while I put my hands on. You know what, I'm gonna let him uh, record for me. But I wanna loosen this right now. Just leave about two to three threads behind. So you see how easy is that third one to take off? But your shirt is gonna fall down, okay? If you go completely, but it's not gonna fall down to the ground. It's probably if the ABS line or the brake line get caught on it, it's gonna yank it and we don't want that. Okay, so this baby is almost loose. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna go down there and I'm gonna push up the strut. I'm gonna push up this strut while my friend takes off that third bolt. Okay. I'm gonna take off that third bolt. 
And let's bring the camera closer. And this strut is just gonna come down just like that. And there's our strut, the leaking strut. Okay, bada bing, bada boom, we got the strut out. And now we're gonna wait for the new one and we're gonna reassemble the whole thing. Okay guys, we got the new strut here. <laughs> Part number right and left will be different, so make sure you get the correct part. So this is the passenger side rear. And uh, let's pop this baby open. This is a complete assembly, okay? Complete assembly. Comes with new bolts. Like I said, we're gonna reuse the old bolts. That's what I like, they're better. This is not what I wanna use. Just need the shirt here. So it's assembly. So you want to change the assembly. The reason is because if this strut mount goes bad, you doing just a uh, just a strut instead of the spring and amount, uh, you're wasting your time. Okay, if you want to do it that way and you know your car doesn't have problem with the strut mount here, this is a strut mount. Um, usually you would have clack clack noise if this mount goes bad. But um, then if you want to change the mount down the road, you're gonna have to redo the whole job. Okay, so let's take off this tag here, and then we're gonna go onto the car. There you go. Three bolts. This is the outer edge. It matches the base just like that. So we're gonna keep it the same way. We're gonna take this shirt. We're gonna put it in. So I'm gonna hold it just the way it is supposed to be. So I'm gonna stick this through the hole. It's gonna be hard for you guys to see. But Got it in the hole and I'm gonna put the bolt up on the top okay so we got one bolt in and um, by bolt I mean nut there you go two and then this third one here so like I said get the easy one first once you get the easy one in the rest of them are gonna be a piece of cake So once I tighten this easy one in, the other three are gonna come up and I'm gonna tighten all three. So I'm gonna uh, start recording once everything is nice and tight over here. And then we'll put the rest of the seats and everything back together. All right, so that's done. We'll be back. Okay, this is all done. Remember this little guy, don't forget to put this cover on. Bada bing, bada boom. Let's take off our tools and reassemble everything back. First thing, we're going to take this little guy. Remember this guy? Goes in here. And make sure you don't stretch the lines. So all you're going to do is you're going to lift it up and see if you capture it. If it doesn't go in, it's going to come back out like that, okay? So you're not going to be able to see nothing back there when it's, it sits flush. So there you go. You see it budged in. Bada bing, bada boom. We got number 12 here. Everything should align, okay? Everything should align. And we got another number 12 right here. So the process would be same for the opposite side. Now we're gonna take our electric drill here. We're gonna tighten this baby up. Where is it? Where is it? Nice and tight. Where is it? Go. can't be loose remember airbags don't have a lot of force so you don't want to leave these babies loose let's put this seat back to where it belongs the belt i mean by seat seat belt and there you go you can move freely take this baby back in push it in seat belt is nice now the hard part my friend is gonna help me from the other side. So what we're gonna do is make sure this is up, make sure this goes through here and make sure these through come out through here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna simply just guide these in. Okay, I'm trying to record and do this at the same time. Once this baby's in, make sure it sits nice and firm to the back. And then you do that. Bada bing, bada boom. Okay, I'll double check that side just for him. But he did the job. He's going to have to punch it right here. This, this seat should not come forward or lift up easily. That's it. And close the doors. Time for us to go back down. 
We don't want to leave this behind for a customer, Uber customer. They'll be happy. Okay, so we're all set from the top. And uh, a lot of people like to put these bolts in and then tighten the bolts on the top because the wheel weight pushes it. Doesn't matter as long as you tighten it properly, it should be good. So once this is in, the shirt and the spindle here, we might have to go up a bit. And up. Might have to wiggle it up a bit, up and down. And once this bolt is in, you're good. The one in the bottom, same procedure. Okay, once I have that in, we're gonna come back. Okay, so you're gonna have to push really hard here to get the bottom one in. Um, let's put the nuts in it on both of them. Make sure your ABS line does not get pinched between the nut and the bolt. Especially in the bottom one because it runs right next to it. If it gets pinched, you're gonna destroy this ABS line. That sensor is almost like 200 bucks. Okay, that's in. Okay, one thing I want to tell you guys: when are you playing around to get the shirt in? You're gonna be moving this uh, back plate, okay? So it might rub against the water like that. So make sure you push it back so it doesn't rub, or the customer is gonna hear a noise as it takes off. So time for us to tighten everything up. 22 millimeter socket and the 22 wrench. Nice and tight. Same thing in the bottom. Once you have it in there, you're all done and set. Next, while we're here, let's put in the sway bar linkage with the 14 millimeter. A lot of times you can put an impact wrench on and it will go right in. Or we're gonna reverse procedure same way. We're gonna put the 14 millimeter, but now we need to turn it clockwise. So make sure you are going clockwise and it is tightening as you go clockwise. It's gonna eventually start to turn from the met center and you don't want that. So we're gonna put our Allen key back in and we're gonna tighten this baby nice and tight. If you leave this loose, you're gonna hear a click click noise and that's not gonna be good. There you go, it's in there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold the Allen Make sure it's nice and tight. There you go, that feels good. And let's pull out uh, our Allen key here. We'll go through all the tools once the whole job is completed. And we are pretty much done here almost. So we're gonna come out this way and switch our lights to this side. So we need to put the 10 millimeter here and there's our 10 millimeter nut and bolt. So here's our 10 millimeter. You do want to secure this, this little guy hit, goes through that little hole. Otherwise, this is going to hit the wheel and it's going to break the sensor. Same thing with the uh, brake line, okay? Same procedure here. Double check all your work. Once you're all done and set, put your wheel on. And you're all done. That was number 12. And this is the 10 millimeter socket here. Nice and tight. Double check your work. Tight, 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 tight. Up on the top, we already checked. Anyways, thank you for watching guys. Stay tuned for more videos. We're all done on this Toyota Camry. And it's the same thing for Avalon or any other Toyota, same procedure. Okay, let's go through the tools. Okay, so we use uh, this Allen key here, five millimeter. Uh, we use this 12 millimeter uh, socket here, short socket for one quarter, quarter inch dry ratchet here. 
22 millimeter wrench. I use another long uh, ratchet here. This is a 3 8 drive. Uh, you use the 12 millimeter socket, uh, 10 millimeter socket on this impact gun. Drill uh, 22 socket, 21 for the tires, 14 millimeter wrench. Uh, gear wrench, that's what it is, and a small extension, and that's everything, a wire brush and a WD-40, that's everything.